Hello there guys and welcome to the first of what is going to be a series of programming tutorials and these tutorials are going to be in the C programming language um, as you might have noticed if you watched my other videos is that I have a series uh, in C++ and also in Java and uh, a few in Visual Basic I will also be updating those uh, I know I haven't updated anything in, uh, for some time now but I will be updating those as well but this is um, um, a new series for beginners and today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and just do the very uh, famous uh, hello world tutorial in C so I will be using Visual Studio you can most certainly go ahead online and download the express version of Visual C++ uh, and also Dev C++ and uh, basically you can use any um, editor you wish and make sure you have a C compiler so to go ahead and to waste no more time, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. So I will go to File, New, Project. I'm gonna make sure I select Visual C++. Then I'm gonna create a um, Win32 console application. I'm gonna name it Tutorial One. We're gonna click next and we're gonna have an empty project and go ahead and hit finish on the on the right hand side here you see our solution uh, explorer and we see a folder here a directory uh, called source files we're gonna go ahead and right click on that add and then a new item what we want to do is next click on a cvp file c++ and go ahead and I'm gonna name it hello world you can name it anything you wish and go ahead and add that you might be wondering why are we um, writing this uh, C++ um, file well C++ is basically an extension of C um, is um, it has a lot of uh, it's basically C but with a lot of built-in functions and a lot of libraries added um, on top of it but uh, let's go ahead right here and rename this so right click and rename and make the extension C although it does not matter because all libraries from C are also in C++ so next year we're going to be um, let's go ahead and start editing so let's go ahead and start typing our code uh, if you haven't seen my CPP um, series yet the tutorials yeah, I, I recommend you do and also the Java and also well if you get a chance you should also check out all the other videos but uh, to get started we must include also we so in if you remember from C++ uh, we also uh, we have to include the libraries we want to use so for our per for our this tutorial for the hello world tutorial we're gonna go ahead and include the standard IO basically standard input and output uh, library to do that we just type pound include and then uh, standard io.h next we'll type int main so this is our main function as you might remember from our C um, tutorials every program must have a main function that's that's um, that's what the basically the compiler looks for and that's what is basically the only part of the code that's executed is what's inside the main so if you have anything outside main and you did not call it inside the main function it will not be executed so that will be basically redundant code so it must be inside so it might so you basically be uh, it won't be doing anything unless it's inside the main function but uh, if you having difficulty understanding this you you will in future tutorial so don't um, don't worry about that right now what we want to do is go ahead and type print f and let's go ahead and type hello world And I'm gonna do a forward slash n. And what then? What this is? The forward slash n is the is the return character. So it will basically go into a new line after it prints hello world. It will just go to a new line. The the compiler will translate that as go and go to a new line. Next, we want to go ahead and type return zero. Why? The reason why we're typing return zero is in order in order basically so when we execute all the code before the return uh, zero we um, and we return the zero that means that all the code pre um, 
before the return basically it was executed successfully so then we tell the main that everything uh, went as as uh, as planned and so now we can go ahead and terminate um, alright so what we want to do next is go ahead and build this uh, project so go to build and build solution we shouldn't get any errors we should here in the output let's see here build one was built successfully zero failed and zero update and zero skip alright so it was built successfully next to run this we go to debug and start without debugging and we see what we expected hello world and then it went to a new line and so if you guys did not have difficulty understanding this do not worry just um, try to watch maybe a few of the C CPP um, tutorials but um, if you didn't understand this we, we're gonna most certainly uh, we're gonna go over a lot of tutorials um, and they will be coming up very soon so uh, if you didn't understand this quite well you can just go over a little bit and rewatch the video if you wish so and and that will definitely help you but uh, we will go over a, a lot of tutorials so you do not have to worry about that and if you guys uh, as I mentioned before if you haven't gotten a chance to uh, watch my other tutorials please um, please do so if, if you wish mm, there they should be helpful there is, there is a series of CPP and um, also Java and some visual basic so if you as I'm I will also be updating those because I haven't updated them in quite some time uh, in, uh, in a while now but and also the few Photoshop tutorials in there but so this is our first story on the C, uh, you know, the first tutorial of the series and we will continue with a lot more so thank you for watching this one and please remember to watch all the other ones and please please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you very much and if you want any any tutorials in particular please send me a message or leave a comment with the tutorial you wish to me to make and i'll try my best to make that happen so thank you for watching and please subscribe